Hi everyone. Hello. We are on our way to Evergreen Garden Center. Thought I would take you with us, or we would take you with us. It's a nice day. Can't go. Why can't I? He's letting me. He better be. Uh, this is so dangerous on a street like this. Of course, they can't help that they live there. Is it today that it isn't today? They're supposed to have a neighborhood. No, uh, you know. Trust me. Yeah, that's gonna be. be going a, I think that's in June, actually. Yeah, we won't be going anywhere that day. Garage sales are such a pain. Yeah, they are. He's got a bunch of tomatoes sitting there in containers. And they're not in his garden. Oh my goodness, he hadn't planted his garden. He's got them all sitting there in containers still. That guy usually has a bunch of tomatoes behind his house. Maybe something happened, maybe he's sick. a bunch of containers in the back of his place. Oh my you can't see back there good. You can barely see it when you drive by. Wow, what everything's going on today. Look, Joe, they're going to pave this. <laughs> Joe showed me a picture of the uh, road in front of his house and Man, that's rough. Talk about some potholes. I was talking about what I wanted to, to get. I want if they've got some nice eggplants, I'd like to get, I don't know, four or six of them. And I'd like to get maybe a couple more pepper plants because there's several of the plants that I grew from seed that just aren't doing good. Um, like I said, next year I'll start them way earlier to where they'll be stronger. I don't know if maybe they're still so little that the uh, nutrients in the that's in this uh, soil I bought where it feeds them for so many months maybe it was too strong. I don't know. It's, uh, several of them just don't seem to be growing. I may end up needing some more cages for the other tomatoes down there. But I don't know if we have enough right now, really. Maybe we'll get one or two or something. I don't know. Maybe I'll just get some steaks. I've got three, I think, at home, but I need a couple more. That one I made into a trellis. So, I don't know if I want to take it apart. I guess I could. I could always fix it back again if I needed to. It is, it says 72 right now. It's supposed to be a high of 85 today. 85. That's what it said, yeah. Kind of stuffy. Humid. I hope they 
still have some. If not, Home Depot had a ad or whatever on a, I saw it on Facebook. the other spark. Hey, another How spark funny. just like ours. Looks about the same year and everything. I think it is. It is the same year. All right, everybody. We're going to go inside and I'll show you what we got. We get back. All right, everybody. I'm going to show you what we got. I got this I, I got already some of these, they're a little bit bigger, growing, uh, they're patio baby. That's a new one I'm trying. I got two of them, they look pretty good. Excuse Bless me. you, it's being around all these plants. Yep. And um, I, I, didn't, I had one of these last year, uh, they're white. Let me see if I can pull this up a little. They're called Ghostbuster eggplants. I grew a couple of them last year. And then I got a uh, couple of this uh, Chacao. There's one. There's two. They look good. And then three. I really, really like the uh, Japanese eggplants. This one's leaning over. I got a couple peppers for the ones that weren't growing. This is a better bell. It says perfection. Potted perfection. <coughs> I'm not sure. It just says pepper. Better bell pepper. Looks like a green one. And then this one. Oh, sorry about the, that. was about to fall off of me. This one is called Valencia. It's a sweet pepper too. And then I just got a couple of these tomato steaks because they're similar to the ones that I already have at home that I'm gonna use because the cages were too small that I saw there for, for $3.99, the cages were too small. Let's go. So that's it, let's take off. Let's go. Let's... See, I can plant these, they're a little lanky, but I can plant them all the way up. I could take these 
uh, leaves off right here if I want and plant them all the way up there. Uh, Just come and try to same with this up. one. And then the Careful. Okay, what's this one doing? They're busy as you can see. I mean, it's hard to find a parking place. Everybody in town's here. I believe there's a lot more people, and I've read it on uh, the internet too, on Facebook and stuff. A lot more people are gardening with the pandemic going on. They've got more time on their hands, they're at home more. So they're trying out gardening, which, you know, I think is great. Uh, it's, it's good that you grow your own vegetables and have your own plants that are nice. And, uh, or something just for your uh, and it's also therapeutic, I think. It just it calms me down and stuff, working in it. I don't think I can get my glasses. sometime this afternoon we hadn't been to Walmart in a while and we think about going there you can just drop these off and yeah they're they're wet I mean they've they've watered them they take care of their plants pretty good there yeah, they do. a lot of them were kind of bent over like this where they were reaching for the sun in a certain way too crowded but I can fix that they'll straighten that up it's already got a flower on it. I trust Evergreen's plants. I don't really trust, you know, I did get a few from Walmart and if I noticed the, the cucumbers aren't doing that great. Uh, they were burpy plants though. Uh, and what was it else I got? I got those small eggplants, which they're not doing that great either. Should have known, I mean, but they, I think we got them when they just came in, so they may end up growing. We'll see. Anything that doesn't, you know, grow or look like it's going to have anything on it, I'll, I'll put something else in its place. Space is too much of a premium for my gardens. drop these off or we could put them I guess they'd be all right in here they might get hot in here though so he might be up with anyway by now <laughs> Logan stays up real late and then he sleeps late too many aches and pains and to keep me asleep and kitty eventually kitty's gonna wake you up <laughs> I thought she must she acted like she hadn't eaten in about a week when she woke me up and take off this morning it's about six 
Luckily, I did fall back asleep this time, but usually I don't. Lots of times I can't go back to sleep. She just sat right in front of my face, meowing over and over. <laughs> Eventually, she'll start biting my like wrist or my hand. She'll bite me a little bit <laughs> if I don't wake up. She doesn't hurt me, though. Just like, hey, wake up. I sleep all day. Then within five minutes, she's already eating what she wants and she's already asleep. And I'm sitting there going, what? <laughs> I think she can fall asleep any time within about a minute. Most likely, we'll end up having a haul from whatever we get Over. at Walmart. So I guess I'll end this one for now. Hope you enjoy driving with us to Evergreen. I got some nice plants here. I think these will do good. Uh, so everybody, please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so that you get all my videos as soon as they come out. And share with someone today, please. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. We'll see you later on. God bless.